You're listening to the Ask Drone You podcast. You ask, we answer your drone questions. Whether you're here to turn your passion into profit or you simply fly for fun, we're a community of learners and teachers who aspire to achieve greatness. We are Drone You. Hello, everyone, and welcome to another awesome episode of Ask Drone You. My name is Paul, and yes, I am still recovering from airborne sickness. <laughs> And my name is Rob, and fortunately, I am not recovering from Which is weird, because we were sitting on the same plane in the same seats, and I got sick and he didn't. Yeah, I think you had a little something going into the trip, mm-hmm. and it just exacerbated Yeah. along the way. Yeah. Unfortunately. Sorry it to hear that. unfortunate. Paul has gone through a couple boxes of Kleenex. Multiple. In the last couple of days. Uh, no fun at all, but it sounds like maybe you're on the mend. Um, if I stay hydrated, I think I'll be in good shape by tomorrow. It's all about avoiding the beers at the baseball game tonight. That will be the real problem. Ooh, that's, that's a tough task. <laughs> yeah, I better go, uh, I, I gotta go hydrate up after this. But anyway, we are here. We are back to give you some great information. Thank you again for joining us. Thank you for the reviews. Um, and thank you for the support. Today we're going to be talking, you know, switching gears again from DJI talking about the Alta series of drones. Um, This is interesting because a lot of professionals use Alta. I actually reached out to a friend of mine, Trent, who owns a company called Copter Kids. And um, they have been flying Altas for a very long time, and he has extensively more experience than I do on that and wanted to get an answer for this question. And that's what, you know, that's what it's all about here as a community. And if we can't get the answer, we've got a lot of people um, who we can call on um, to get answers. Yeah, it's important to not think you know everything, right? It is true. So the FreeFly Alta, so they came out with a new Alta. I think it's called the Alta Plus. Uh, They've been touting a a lot of new features. So what can it actually do? Well, we also reached out to Alta, or excuse me, to FreeFly directly to get the answer on this particular drone uh, because uh, one of our longtime question askers, Ken, (laughs) has gone very deep down the rabbit hole. He is an uh, ADU superstar. He really is. So anyway, let's go ahead and play the question, which is brought to you by our friends at Propeller Aero. Thank you very much uh, for sponsoring the show. We've been using Aero Points in our last Dallas mapping class, which was a huge success. Uh, By the way, our next mapping class will be at the NTSB Training Center in Ashburn, Virginia. If you haven't, You know, I know a lot of people are like, oh, it's accident reconstruction. It's not my thing. It's the most comprehensive mapping class I would say that we give. In addition, yeah, there is, you know, a bend towards accident reconstruction. But in order to really understand how that's different from regular mapping, it's just about being really, really accurate, number one. But in addition, number two, it's all about your acquisition strategy in order to get really good detail and hard to see places. Um, And frankly, it's something that we take a lot of pride in. You know, we set up these missions and no one else does that. You know, we give people different uh, vertices and different subjects, uh, different styles of subjects to really to capture and process and have practical missions to utilize at home. And there's a huge problem with a lot of drone training programs out there. You know, you go out there, you maybe have one instructor for every like five or six people, maybe one drone, and you never fly it. You typically, you learn how to do all this stuff, but you never go out there and fly. And that's, you know, the drone you difference, but also the drone you difference is teaching from experience. So we're really excited to have Andy with us, really excited to have Bill teaching with us. Um, You know, it is going to be a class. If you want to learn mapping, 2D mapping, 3D mapping, and you really want to do it well because you want to create a successful business for the long term, you're not going to want to miss this four day long class. And yes, we'll have a flight mastery class as well. And um, as one student said, um, I'm trying to remember his name as I pull up the testimonial. It was the guy from Delaware, Delaware State Police guy. I can't remember his name. Anyway. I can't either. uh, um, Anyway, he said, and I quote, Drone use flight mastery training is the most systematic drone training I have ever been to. It made me humble when I thought I knew everything there was to know about flying. Good show. Thanks, guys. 
So if you want to learn flight mastery, which is essentially a day long series of exercises that build upon each other to help you gain confidence, fly in tight spaces, and really learn how to master flying a drone, you don't want to miss the flight mastery class. That's in addition to the mapping class. And that will be um, in Ashburn, Virginia as well. And for all of those of you who are calling in and being like, aren't you in Dulles airspace? No, no, we're not. We're close actually to, very close to, but not in, but not in. Yeah. And by the way, the flight mastery is fun too. It's, it, a, it's a good time. It really is actually. Yeah. It's my, one of my favorite courses. Um, anyway, go to the and then scroll down to the wheel and click events and you'll see that page. Check it out. You will not want to miss this class. Uh, it's already about halfway sold out too. So there's only a few seats left. You're going to want to check that out. And last time the class did sell out. So make sure you check it out. You won't want to miss it. All right, let's go ahead and play the question. Hey, Paul. Hey, Rob. Ken from New Jersey. First question of 2019, I believe. I'll try to keep up the pace um, and have a few more every month. But um, I just want to first off say great job on everything you're doing, especially the business course that you guys put out there. The modules are great, very informative, uh, should help a lot of people out. Uh, the question is related to the Alta 8 Pro line that came out. You see they've got a uh, waypoint and uh, autopilot system now, and I think that's great. But I'm still curious as to how, say, for something like mapping, uh, you're remotely controlling the camera and getting an interface um, through the mission planner that can trigger the camera if you want to do mapping and, and basically fly to different points and snap pictures along the way. I, I don't know how they came, if they're doing that. I mean, you know, the Altas are still these platforms that are awesome. I'm a big fanboy of them. I admit it. Um, I wish they could beat out DJI in some things, but the reality is for the 18 grand you need to shell out to just to start off with one of those, uh, they just can't do everything a DJI drone can do other than maybe haul a cinema camera. Um, you know, and, and that's what they're good for is, is shooting movies. But outside of that, maybe LIDAR. Um, but again, uh, I, I just want to hear your take on it. What do you think? Are you going to evaluate one of those? Maybe test one out, see what a an Alta 8 Pro platform can do related to mapping and other type of data acquisition missions? Or, uh, you know, do you have any other information about it to compare and contrast a DJI platform? So if you're going to do that, I'd love to hear about it. Thanks again for all you guys do. Look forward to getting more questions in 2019. Thanks, Ken. Appreciate it as always. Uh, been a stalwart of the show. We are very, very grateful for you. And for that, go to astronu.com to get all of your questions in. I've gotten some emails from folks that said, I've got a bunch of questions, just hadn't take the time to get on there and ask them. So do that. We want to hear from you. Definitely do that. So I will say, after reaching out to FreeFly and asking this question directly, they are advertising that Waypoint missions are available on their newer platform, although they're not ready yet for a rollout. So as of right now, which right now is April 5th, 2019, unfortunately, the ability to do mapping and waypoints is not there yet. And it was funny when I talked to Trent, um, whose video is actually on the FreeFly website, um, he said that he likes the older Alta platform and the older flight controller compared to the new one. He just uh, compared it to essentially saying that it was a lot more natural flight, a lot more um, stability and flexibility, essentially. And I, I understand what he's saying. I kind of think of like the Inspire 1 versus the Inspire 2. The Inspire 2 was just toned back a little bit, you know? I don't know what they did, but it came down to yaw endpoint movement, and it also came to roll and pitch or maximum roll and pitch angle and maybe even angle of attack as a whole. It's almost like they over-engineer them. They just keep going and going when something is really working well, and it's just the natural evolution of a product to get to more revenue. I would love it if they would do if they would revamp the Inspire One, and just like come out with a new Inspire One version three. Yeah, and, and then put the X4S on there, and then just stop and like leave the old flight controller settings, and call it like the Inspire One Classic or something. Yeah, that's. Uh, I, I just think of it from a business standpoint, right? And that's a really challenging balance between taking something that so many people loved, like the Inspire One, or in this particular case, the older Alta, making it better but not getting rid of what made people love the first one. Mm -hmm. And that seems like that happens a lot. 
Well, it also seems like that's happening with the Phantom, too. I mean, there are rumors on the street that we're never going to see another Phantom again. So, I mean... That's crazy. Yeah, I, yeah. So I mean, is DJI the... is in some trouble right now, and there is massive opportunity for another company to step in. And I've also heard that they're not launching... pitching an idea? No, no, no. No, no, I'm kidding. Rumor mill. <laughs> rumor mill, Rob. Um, the rumor mill is turning out that DJI is waiting to launch their newest drone to see what the other guys do. Why? Well, because then they can maybe do a quick software tweak and then okay. advertise that theirs is better. Interesting. That doesn't seem like the posture of a leader. Well. Do you think, well, I don't know. Do you think jobs would look at it that way or the people that they're sort of. Oh, man. Patterning they're, themselves after. You could get me in I'm a not, lot of trouble right now. Well, <laughs> and I'm not, I really don't even mean to sound critical. It's just fun to ask the questions. Um about that kind of thing. You know, we don't even know that that's that they're thinking that it's just kind of fun to talk about. It is kind of fun to talk about. And the thing is, is like, I've honestly flown an Alta maybe like three or four times and I love, love, hmm. love the way it flies. Now, did you fly it in action, like on a set or anything or just for fun? No, mm -mm, no, nope, yeah. just for fun. When a bird that big without prop cages and props that could clearly take your head off, Probably not a good idea to fly the way that I do. And if you've ever flown with me, you know what I'm talking about. It's so funny because even Josh was like, Anytime at a training, I can always tell when he's flying. Because you always hear, Wah! and then silence, and, Wah! you know, like, I like to stall my drones, okay? Um, anyway, long story short, you know, it wasn't a good idea for me to try it uh, on set. And frankly, I really like the agility of an Inspire 2. I need to still get mine fixed, unfortunately. But this is great. If you're, you know, if you're in the movie business and they want to fly a red, this is the go-to solution. The Alta 8 is the go-to solution. It is not an M600, mm -hmm. unfortunately. So So um, the M600 is more the geriatric Alta. Oh, it's the geriatric Alta, but you would use an M you can't use an M600 for mapping, but you, you know, can. You can. You can, no, right? You can. Mm -hmm. Whereas 40. this one you can't. Correct. So, obviously that's a big difference between the two. So like but this is a lot more expensive, too. That is true. That is true. And if you hack an M600, it will fly like that. Mm. I'm just saying, you can take the old fat lady out of the bird. <laughs> Give her the keto diet. But apparently, uh, a lot of people like it. A lot of people do like it, and it is the go-to solution for uh, on-set productions. But that being said, it is not yet there for mapping. So can the answer is no. And if you have a question, please go to askdroneu.com and upload that question. We've got a lot to go over, and hopefully uh, my voice will, will stay long enough that we can keep filming this show because uh, it takes a lot out of me right now uh, with, with, with my sickness. But guys, please, guys and girls, please send in your questions. Uh, but that is going to do it for us today. Thank you again for watching. We really appreciate it. And we will see you next time. Thanks again for listening to another epic episode of Ask Dronio. <laughs>